I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's make deep fried deviled egg. So if you grew up like I did, you grew up having deviled eggs. And anytime I was at my grandma's house, she made deviled eggs. I kind of made it a personal challenge to eat the entire tray by myself. Now fast forward to leading Meat Church, I'm always looking to kick things up a notch. And so I came up with this recipe, fried deviled eggs, and I sent it to Traeger last year. I was doing uh, Thanksgiving videos with my buddy Tim Hollingsworth, and this is something that we did together and it was a ton of fun. And we just never shot a video on it and the feedback's amazing. It tastes super, super good. You will love this. It was absolutely the star um, of a holiday meal. And with Easter coming up at the time of release of this video, this coming weekend, there's nothing better than to do this. It also pairs awesome with our double smoked glazed ham recipe. We'll put a card up here for that, but we're just gonna focus on a side that is killer. Um, and so let's just jump right into it. It's super easy. The recipe is for six whole eggs, which makes 12 deviled eggs. Uh, we've actually hard boiled a dozen here. So we have twice as many as we need. And so to get to this point, all we did was uh, boil these eggs for you know eight to 10 minutes dunk them in an ice bath so that you can roll the egg after to easily peel it. Everybody knows how to hard boiled egg. So that's how we got right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take six of these and I'm just gonna cut them in half because I need to pull the yolks out. So let's go ahead and get the yolks out of the eggs so that we can make um, our mixture. All right, now we got all the yolks out, let's get into the mixture. So some of this tr is traditional and you know, in true meat church fashion, some of it's not. But we're going in with uh, two tablespoons, it's all easy to remember, but it's obviously in the, uh, the, our recipes are always in the description and on meatchurch.com, but two tablespoons of Duke's mayonnaise. Duke's is the only answer. We've got two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Got to get that twang. So here's something I dig. Two tablespoons of pickled jalapenos. You can buy them or you can make them. So they're not hot and it's not spicy when you pickle it. Uh, if you go to meatchurch.com, we have a pickled onions recipe, also pickled jalapeno. It's the same process. This is very nice, a very nice addition. I also like to hit it with a little bit of hot sauce, and it's not going to make it hot. So how much? However much you want. Not going a whole lot. This is yellow bird jala creamy jalapeno. You can use whatever the heck you want. Mix it up really thoroughly. This is going to be our mixture. Be sure to mash up the yolks really good. Once it's all incorporated, uh, I'm going to take this off to the fridge while we fry our eggs. Time to make the breading, it's really, really easy. So we've got our Meat Church chicken fried breading here. If you don't have that, you can just season flour. I love to season flour with our seasonings. Pick your favorite, Honey Hog's a really good one, the Gospel, whatever you wanna do um, to just get a little seasoning on that. Then we've got uh, like four eggs beaten up right here, and we've got panko, and then I have a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano up here that I'm going to grate into it. This is optional, but this house loves Parmesan. In fact, I think on spring break this year, my 10 year old told the guy in Italian place, bring the Parmesan and I'm not gonna tell you to stop. Simple from here, we're gonna take it, simple but messy. We're gonna take the eggs and we're gonna put them in the flour mixture. You're gonna slip them down in the egg wash and you've got to get the, obviously you've got to completely coat the egg here. This is fun, this is egg on egg action right here. Make sure you get totally covered, run it off, throw it in your mixture with your dry hand. So this is, this is, this part's kind of interesting. You've got to make sure that you empty the egg out as best you can because you're gonna fill that up with all the filling you made. It's that simple. Put it over here on a pan. It's the least fun part. Get your kids involved with this. Assign them to do this. We're 
We're all breaded up. We've got uh, peanut oil going here at 350 degrees. And honestly, you're just gonna fry these until they're just like nice and golden and beautiful. I don't like to put too many in at the same time. Don't wanna overcrowd it. So do however many you want. I'll probably do about four at a time. All right, you can see that those are nice and golden, which is all I'm looking for. Time to pull them. All right, let's keep frying. Got them all fried up, beautiful golden brown. They are nice and crispy. By the way, it took about 90 seconds to make them look this good. Obviously, you know it's already cooked. Like I said, you're just cooking them until they're pretty, basically. So we've got our mixture in a quart Ziploc bag to act as a piping bag. I'm just gonna cut a little corner off of it. A baker, I am not. So here we go. Just fill them up. Whew, maybe I am a baker, dang. All right, and we're gonna dress them up. I've got bacon uh, that we cooked here. I'm only doing three. I'm not gonna sit here and make y'all wait on all this. You get the point. Whew. Any predictions? I don't think it's gonna suck. Here we go. I ain't mad at it. You have to make that for Easter. Enough of the boring ham and all that stuff. That crunch was awesome. Um, the flavor of the filling, that's an amazing filling. Don't be afraid of the hot sauce and the pickled jalapenos. Uh, it makes it. Such a good twang. So many people, friends of mine, have made this since we shot it in October with Traeger, and they all came back telling me how much their families liked it. This is super unique, a big twist on a, a classic, obviously. Um, I will give you one tip. These don't keep. Not that deviled eggs are ever left over. I don't think I've ever seen a leftover deviled egg. Um, you need to make these right before you eat. They're really good and crunchy right now, but if you try to put them in a container, they get soft and they're not good, so. But I'm telling you, you're a, your family's gonna inhale these uh, at Easter dinner. So give them a shot, let me know what you think. Stick around for the wrap up that we've been doing after meatchurch.com. All our recipes, all our seasoning, all our swag and merch. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Welcome to the video wrap up. This is uh, actually a week after we shot the this video, and this is a spot where it gives us a little chance to elaborate on the video and, and just give you thoughts after we have reflected on what we shot. The biggest thing is that recipe is delicious. Um, this is one that's like, you gotta make that one. The crunch came through pretty good when I watched the video, but they were really, really crunchy. I will say that if you have access to pork panko, that's a nice addition. Uh, we couldn't find it in our town um, when we shot it, but it's, uh, it's really nice if you can go that route. The only kind of mistake I, I, I caught myself saying in the video was started out with, um, with hard boiled eggs, and I said something like it took eight to 10 minutes to get here. It took a few more minutes than that, probably more like 12 minutes. Um, but most people know how to make deviled eggs, but you should do this. It's super delicious. And then let us know if you do and let us know what your family thinks. Next week, give you a little teaser. Brisket mac and cheese with a secret ingredient. That's probably the video that's been requested the most, I think, that we hadn't done. So it's a long time coming and it's delicious. So we'll see you all next week.